The iBind Western device uses a technology called sequential lateral flow. A unique proprietary glass fiber matrix allows optimal and homogeneous flow of immunodetection solutions towards the stack region of the card. This technology allows one to use up to 80% less primary antibody and enables improved blot-to-blot -blot consistency. After performing gel electrophoresis and transfer of the proteins to a solid support membrane, such as PVDF or nitrocellulose, proceed by rinsing the membrane in iBind solution and prepare the device for use. Once the iBind card is placed into the iBind device, the membrane is placed onto the card after being immersed in iBind solution. Well 1 is loaded with primary antibody. Well 2 is loaded with iBind solution. Then well 3 is loaded with the secondary antibody. Finally, well 4 is loaded with the iBind solution. There is no power, pumps, vacuums, or batteries required. Each of the well contents will move in sequential order across the membrane while the previous well contents are held in place until the previous well has completely drained. First, the primary antibody flows across the membrane, binding to protein. The second well will then flow across the membrane, washing away the unbound primary antibodies. The third well with secondary antibody will flow across the membrane, binding to remaining primary antibodies. The fourth and final well containing iBind solution flows across the membrane, washing away unbound secondary antibodies. Once the final well has completely emptied and moved across the membrane, you can remove and proceed to Western Detection Protocol. Sequential Lateral Flow Technology, powering every iBind Western device from Thermo Fisher Scientific.